hi everybody and welcome or welcome back to my channel as told by tally today i want to announce something to you guys that is very special and very dear to my heart and also share a lot of informational things with you guys so on the 14th of this month january i am launching my new business called tally shelf and this business is really just a way for me to incorporate both my love of reading and writing in one so i will have journals reading journals bookmarks reading trackers notepads sticky notes stationary all that good stuff and i am so so excited to share it with you guys i as i'm recording this video right now i'm only seven days away from my launch i don't know when i'll post this video but i feel very jittery i feel nervous i feel excited i feel all the things i'm gonna be very transparent with you guys i am nervous but i'm also very proud and very happy and very excited for it to all come together and it's been a great blessing watching it all come together behind the scenes and now I get to put it out there to the world so mainly I want this video to be about me preparing for launch day and showing you guys all the things that I have bought such as shipping supplies such as well it's really mainly shipping supplies business cards thank you cards so on and so forth so I'm not gonna waste too much time on the introduction let's just get into it so one of the first 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 things you're gonna need to get if you are thinking of launching a business whether it's an online business whether it's a brick and mortar business whatever it is one of these you are absolutely going to need a notebook even a notepad if you feel like you're not gonna write that much but i feel like you're gonna need a notebook it could be a small notebook that's really just a preference thing but whatever it is you're gonna need a notebook and you need a notebook because you want to keep track of all the things that you're spending for your business you want to keep track on all the things that you're buying all the things that you have your eyes on as far as inventory you want to keep track of deadlines it's very important to set deadlines for yourself if i did not set a launch date for this business it would probably still be sitting in my idea book and not coming to life right now so absolutely you need a notebook to keep track of all your thoughts ideas your spending habits as far as the business and all of that and if you're thinking of taking any courses for the business which i did not necessarily like courses courses but i did watch a few like shopify master classes that were a huge help and i will link them in the bio below and I wrote everything down that I felt like was helpful for me, but I didn't keep it in this journal. I kept it in another journal because I wanted to keep that. I wanted to keep everything that I was learning about business separate from everything that I was doing for the business, if that makes sense. So like this is my book for inventory and to keep track of money. And then the other book was just like notes, things that's going to help my business, how to promote and so on and so forth. But you can mix them all together in one journal if you want. Once again, it is just a preference thing so i'm sorry if you guys can hear a lot of noise but i'm very hot so i gotta have my window open and <laughs> my window is right by a street so you might hear cars coming and going so that's number one number two you're gonna need a laptop um it really doesn't matter what kind of laptop but i do think it is easier to run shopify if you even go with shopify i think shopify is better than well i haven't tested any of the other platforms for small businesses but we all know that shopify is basically the most popular so i would go with shopify if i were you and i do think it's better to run your shopify on your laptop rather than a mobile device but don't take my word as gold because you may be able to do both but i do think shopify is going to be easier any laptop will suffice i'm not even going to show you guys my laptop because i feel that any laptop will suffice it really doesn't matter next thing nothing is in any particular order by the way except for the notebook i feel like the notebook has to be number one because everything else you get after the notebook you're gonna have to write in the notebook so the notebook should be number one but everything else and then maybe the laptop but everything else is up to you when you want to order it and so on and so forth so i wrote down a list so that i wouldn't forget anything i'm gonna get into shipping supplies now so um I'm not gonna have the prices of everything but i will have everything linked down below in my amazon storefront and it's either gonna be under home office or shipping supplies or small business i don't know i haven't even made the list yet but it will be made 
it will be made by the time you watch this video. So I have three different types of bubble mailers. I'm going to start with the smallest one. This is a four by eight bubble mailer. This is perfect if you want to ship something that needs a little bit extra protection because it comes obviously with bubbles on the inside. So it's very sturdy <laughs> to protect your package. And this is the smallest, I think this is the smallest size they sell. I feel like I have seen smaller than this, but it's not common. Like I feel like this is the most common small size, which is four by eight. And what I bought, I bought, ooh. okay, I'm going to move this very slowly. Okay. <laughs> I, ooh, I bought, um, I think it's a 50 pack. Yes. I bought 50 of these four by eight bubble mailers, obviously in the color pink. Your color is your preference. Go with whatever. I would recommend that you go with a color that is going with your brand because when people get your packaging they're gonna say oh my gosh this is so pretty it matches the website and it matches the logo and so on and so forth so i got 50 of these bubble mailers for about 12 dollars. i do have the price for that and this is the smallest size the second biggest size or second smallest size whatever that i got is six by ten and for this i only got a 25 pack and this was for about $16 for the 25 pack. And as you can see, there is a vast difference in between these two mailers. And it really depends on you how much, like, how much you want in each pack. I would say start with the smallest that you can get. So with this, I went with 25, but I believe I could not find 25 in the same brand for these and i got these from amazon guys so it will all be linked there so i had to get 50 as well as the ones that are the biggest size i had to get 52 50 50 as well not 52 as in 52 but 52 as in 50 as well if you get what i mean 52 oh oh period okay so these are a 8.5 by 12 i don't like the one i don't like the way that one looks <laughs> 8.5 by 12 bubble mailers is this is going to be for some of my bigger products which i will actually share some of my inventory with you guys right now so this is one of my reading journals that i will be selling you can see it says my 2024 reading journal and when you open it, I love it so much. I love all my inventory so much. Like I'm literally in love with it. Like my vendors, they did that. <laughs> so you open it, it says this journal belongs to, you can write your name. The second page includes a wish list for all the books that you wish to have and the books that you have read. So as you're going through your 2024, reading your books, you can color in all the books that you've read and then it goes into the book review part so we have title and author rating the day you started the day you ended the format of the book whether it was hardback paperback audiobook or ebook your favorite quotes and then your review and you can review up to 60 books in this reading journal and this is why i have this bubble mailer because it would i don't think it would Actually, it will fit in this. Okay, that's perfect. So I have this big one for something. I just don't remember what it is right now. <laughs> but yeah, so that's a good example of what you can fit in here. A journal about this size, probably something even bigger. Oh wait, this is the, guys, you already know me. <laughs> You already know I get confused sometimes. These are actually the same size. So yeah, it doesn't even matter. This fits in the biggest one. I think what I was trying to say is that it doesn't fit in the second biggest one. Yeah, it doesn't. It fits in the biggest one. So that's what you can fit in an 8.5 by 12 bubble mailer. Let's move on. 
so another type of shipping supply that i got i don't have it on hand with me right now because i had to order a different size i ordered the wrong size at first but i got some silver holographic boxes i will try to insert a picture here from youpackandship.com and they are so pretty because remember i already got the other size but they, it was the wrong size so i had to send it back they're so pretty guys and the size that i did get was a 10 by 8 by four and i'm just like hoping it's the right size because the thing about their website is that they don't have pictures for every single size they just have that one picture up there so i'm like which size is in this picture because i wanted the size that's in the picture so i'm like praying that that happens but you can also google like 10 by 8 by 4 boxes and see what that looks like and that's what i tried to do but sometimes you get different types of pictures so i went with the 10 by 8 by 4 and we're gonna see how it looks and if not i don't think i'll need the boxes right away that's just for if i get like some type of huge order which i hope i'll be blessed enough to have but i don't think i'm gonna need it right away so i'm not really stressing about that another type of shipping supply i got oh my gosh this is kind of like a two in one i'm gonna try to make space so i can show you guys okay wait another thing you might want to get is a desk if you are able to because i feel like it just puts me into work mode like it, it makes me focused rather than being on my bed because when i'm on my bed i'm just like oh i'm gonna lay down but I finally got my desk last night and I was like working till <laughs> three o'clock in the morning just working on this on the little last touches that I need for my launch but another type of shipping supply that I got are these which are rigid mailers and I got them for I'm going to show you guys another inventory that I have this is for the readers as well I will show you something for the writers I promise but this is for the readers and it is an A to Z book challenge 2024. So you can either color it in or you can print pictures to place anytime you read a book. If it starts with that letter, you would place it here. And I love it so much. And I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot put this in a bubble mailer. I can't put it in a poly mailer either, which is what I'm going to show you next. But that's why I got these rigid mailers because it adds that little bit of extra protection and I did not get this from Amazon actually I got this from ecoenclosed.com which I will obviously put in the bio and these were I have the paper right over there actually it's an 11 by 13.5 rigid mailer and I got a bundle of 10 for I don't remember the price guys but I'll do you one better. You can go straight to the link and look for yourself. <laughs> but here we go. It fits perfect in here because I believe this is like a 10. I'm not even. I, I know it's a 10 by something. <laughs> the poster is a 10 by something. Is something in here already? No. It fits perfectly. I love it. And then for even extra protection, because I was wondering if I should just mail it like this or if I should get something else to protect it as well. And I decided to get, it, to get something else to protect it because what if it's raining that day and like the mail person just like drops it and then it gets soaked? You know what I mean? Even though I feel like it will be fine because it's in this. So even if this gets soaked, it's also in plastic. So I feel like that's a lot of protection already, but I'm a perfectionist just a little bit. So I got something else as well. I got poly mailers. This is something that I would use if you're mailing something that doesn't really need a lot of protection, which is kind of stupid what I'm saying because I, I'm saying I got this for extra protection. And then I'm also saying you, you should use it if you don't need extra protection. But what I mean by that is that like if you're shipping clothes, for example, great example, if you're shipping clothes, a poly mailer is perfectly fine compared to a bubble mailer because you don't need the extra bubbles for clothes. You know what I mean? This is enough to protect clothes. But why I got it for this as extra protection is because if it rains, these are waterproof. So it's perfect. So I would mail it just like this. But the thing is, guys, I just got these last night and I think I went way too big. These were... 
have them written down here. These were 14 by 5 by 19. No, sorry. 14.5 by 19. And I think it's way too big. Like, it's not a huge deal. Okay, there was a plane passing. It's kind of still passing. It's not a huge deal because when you close it, like, it's going to look fine. But at the same time, there's that extra space there. And like I said, I'm a bit of a perfectionist, so I didn't want that. So I went ahead and I ordered a 12 by 15.5. Don't have the prices, guys, but you can always look at my Amazon storefront. And I think that's going to fit it a little bit better. And before we move off of this shipping supply, I also bought... Where is it? These stickers do please handle with care do not crush or bend or fold because we don't want somebody crushing this up stuffing it in somebody's mailbox and then their print is all messed up i want this to be super 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 protected so it would go in the bubble mailer the shipping label is going to go on it and then one of these stickers is going to go on it as well and it is pink i got this from amazon i love it so much so so far i have pink packaging i have black packaging and i have the silver packaging which are the boxes that i don't have yet but they are on the way so these are only going to be used for those prints or if i get more prints in the future but that's the only print i have for this launch so let's move on to the next one okay you're gonna need thank you cards and business cards of course and i'm gonna show you guys my business cards which i also just got yesterday i swear i wasn't like getting a whole bunch of stuff last minute i mean it is kind of a whole bunch of stuff but i was also getting stuff early ahead of time as well so it was a mix so these are my beautiful 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 business cards I can't even contain myself. It's probably gonna look so blurry because I swear my camera isn't focusing like it should. But it has my logo on it. And then this isn't a part of my logo. My designer actually added that. And I absolutely will be linking her Instagram in the description box as well. So this is the front of the business card. It says Tally Shelf, my logo and then the back and it has my instagram my tiktok my website my website is tallyshelf.com and my email as well which is hello at tallyshelf.com and then all the social medias instagram and tiktok are under the same name as well so pretty simple <laughs> and then for thank you cards because you always want to make sure I feel like packaging is so important like don't just send the product send a business card and send a thank you card for sure i wish i wish i had better lighting like i really do like i need a ring light asap asap but these are my thank you cards. I'm in love with them as well. I really didn't know if I wanted to go with light pink or dark pink. But the dark pink that they had for this business card was like too dark. Like it wasn't like a hot. I don't know how to explain it. But I got this from Amazon as well. And it says, hey, blank, your order made my day. I hope this package brightens yours. So I'm so excited to like write the customer's name on the business cards. And then on the back, I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure this would be the front. In the back, it says, thank you so very much. When you support a small business, you are supporting a dream. So I'm so excited to put these in my packages. And then if you do have a desk for your business, what you're also going to want is a business card holder. And I got one of those that also came yesterday. <laughs> And it's so pretty. It has two slots. So I have the thank you cards. As you can see, it didn't fit everything in it. Like this is how much left I have of the thank you cards. And I believe I ordered a 100 pack. It's actually right here. Yes. So this was a pack of 100. Obviously, it did not fit 100, but that's okay. And then for the business cards, I forgot to mention to you guys that I had 
a designer make the make the design for me but i had to go and print them myself on vistaprint.com i've heard that's like the most recommended place and they came really quick like she got the design to me on new year's and it is january 7th when i'm recording this but i got them yesterday january 6th i can't remember if i paid for i may have paid for expedited shipping maybe not entirely sure but either way they came quick um and they're perfect they didn't mess them up or anything so yeah you're gonna want to get a business card holder as well and i think this one is perfect if you have like thank you cards and business cards which i do recommend and yeah two slots perfect what is next i think we might know we're not at the end of our road oh my gosh i can't believe i almost forgot these these are like kind of i think the camera just tilted a little bit I think we're good these are kind of like some of the most important things so i have dropped something a scale if you can't tell by now my favorite color is pink <laughs> but i have a scale this is very very important because i don't know how it is on any other platform but on shopify when you are shipping things and when you are printing out your shipping labels you're going to have to weigh how much the whole package weighs that means the product and the product including the packaging and even when you're like entering your products like if you have a new product you're going to want to weigh that as well and just enter the product weight as well so a shipping scale is very important i got this from amazon as well i was no more than 25 dollars, i want to say and then of course you want to get your shipping label printer now you can get a wireless one i did not get a wireless one i <laughs> was clearly just not paying attention but it's not that serious um if you have like a newer macbook you're gonna have to buy an adapter so that you can connect your printer to your macbook and it works pretty fine for me not even pretty fine just it works fine for me but if you're someone who prefers a wireless i believe this brand also sells wireless ones as well this is mubin munbin whatever it'll be linked below and you want to make sure you get your shipping labels i recommend that you get your shipping labels from the same company that you are getting your printer from i'm not going to say it's going to be a total disaster if you don't do that i'm just saying let's just do that so that we can avoid any mishaps or any problems not that there will be any problems i don't know i don't know if there's going to be any problems because i went and i did what i was supposed to do so let's avoid the problems right <laughs> what else so those are very 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 important you're gonna need a shipping label printer you're gonna need a scale and then what else? Let's take a quick break from the shipping supplies so that I can show you guys some of my other things. So this is one of my journals. This is another reason why you need a desk because I had so much inventory and like so much boxes and it was just like crowding my room. But now that I have my desk, I have a desk with drawers. So if you see me pulling things out from the sides, I'm pulling them out from my drawers and all my inventory is in there. And it's simple, it's easy, it's simple. <laughs> This is one of my journals and it says I'm too creative, right? I'm too creative for a nine to five. And I love it so much. It is gorgeous. And it's also available in black. And guys, I think this should be the notebook that you guys buy to write down all your business needs, period. And then I also have another journal. I have not posted it on my Instagram yet because I've been posting a whole bunch of my inventory giving you guys a sneak peek but you guys can get this exclusive that's if i don't post it before i post this video but this one it's only available in white and it says just let me bleep about it i love it this is for your venting needs of course and then all these journals come with a band closure so you can close it like that they also come with like a ribbon bookmark to mark your place right here so you can mark the page that you're on i'm so in love with them i can't choose a favorite at all out of all my inventory <laughs> they're just like all my babies 
on to the next thing i think that's it guys oh no this is something else but it's like totally optional whether you want to do this or not so i have these free gift stickers i will be giving freebies with every single package i don't know if i want to reveal i'm not going to reveal what my mm. Okay, I'm not going to show you, but I'll tell you. I'm going to be giving free pens with every single package. They're going to be pink pens. And me telling you guys the color kind of defeats the purpose of me not showing you the pens. But whatever, it's out there. It's out there. <laughs> We're only seven days away from the launch. It is what it is. So I'm going to be giving free pens. And I was struggling for so long to figure out what my freebies were going to be. Like, I knew I wanted freebies very badly but i did not know what like i went from so many things to things like blistex lip gloss um lollipops and those are all fine things but i ultimately came to this, the decision that i want to give freebies that are relative to my business so i sell reading products and writing products so i feel like pens are very on brand with that and on the package for my freebies i'm just going to put free gift Oops. And this is like a pack of oh it doesn't tell me but as always it'll be linked it's probably a hundred though i want to say it's a, a pack of a hundred and i love it another thing you guys are going to need to get this is something i actually didn't have to get well in this size i didn't have to get it i'm gonna show you guys another one of my inventory you're going to need cellophane bags. I think that's how you pronounce it. Cellophane. I think so. But these are one of my notepads that I'll be selling. Once again, my favorite color is pink. And this is very Valentine's Day. It even has Valentine in the in the product name so you'll see that on my website and i think it was important to me to get things that were kind of valentine's y because i'm launching exactly a month before valentine's day so i didn't think i would have time to do my first launch and then do a valentine's day launch as well so my valentine's day collection is within my first launch but i love this so much it is a non-stick notepad meaning you write on the page and then you rip it off but you're not gonna be able to stick it to i'm gonna be able to stick the page to anything it's just gonna it's just gonna come off um and i love it if you couldn't tell by now and another one of like my valentine's day things is this so cute they're kind of like the same theme like books pink hearts these are sticky these are actually post-it notes sticky notes whatever you want to call it but on to the cellophane bags you're definitely going to need cellophane bags just to protect your inventory especially things that are like paper you don't want it to go into the bubble mailer without a cellophane bag and then it's getting all crumpled and so on and so forth it's like putting papers into like your purse without putting it in a folder or any type of protection it's gonna get crumpled right so you're gonna need cellophane bags i luckily didn't have to buy cellophane bags for these specifically because when my vendor sent them she sent them in these so i decided to just keep it because why not but i did buy cellophane bags for things like bookmarks i needed cellophane bags for my freebies where i'm gonna put the pens and i think that's all i need cellophane bags for but i'm gonna show you guys and it was a struggle i feel like every size of cellophane bag that i bought was just not right for the bookmarks it's actually still not right i'm gonna be very transparent with you guys because they're just not like they're either not big enough or they're not small enough i'm gonna show you guys what i mean so this is one of my bookmarks i call it the movie ticket bookmark and it basically says lifetime membership of the book club relax relaxation guaranteed and it says admit one like it looks like a movie ticket i love it and this is going to be available in black and white and with or without a tassel which I can try to show you if I can reach it. Nope, that's not it. Yes. 
So here is a black one with a tassel. Same bookmark, just with a tassel and in black. So I have this in white and black and I have this in white and black. So you can choose whether you want it with a tassel or not. And all of that will be available on the website. So what I mean when I say they're either too small or too big, like this does not, this does not fit. And I do want to encourage you guys that like if you buy something that's not the right size, don't be too quick to return it because you never know if you're going to need it for something else. If you feel like you're absolutely not going to use it, like the wrong size boxes I got, I was like, no, I don't need this. Send it back. But if you can, I would encourage you to keep some things even if they come in the wrong size because you might end up needing it. Like this ended up being perfect for my pens as freebies so the pens will go in here and then the free gift sticker will go on here so i'm happy i didn't return those even though they didn't fit the bookmarks um i think this is what i'm ending up going with for the bookmarks but even still guys like i'm gonna show you just so you're prepared when you place an order that like they're not as like they're just not perfect and i want things to be perfect like but at the same time it's not bad but i cannot find the right size for nothing like i don't know like i thought these would be perfect but they're too small i don't know but these are two by six and these are three by eight cellophane bags and then when you want to close them you're going to rip off this whatever it is and <laughs> just seal it seal it shut and yeah so let me go over the list that i wrote down one more time because i think we're done here actually i also got tissue paper so that i can put it in the box it's here but i don't really i'll show you guys because i didn't open it yet and i don't really plan on opening it i may have gotten them too big as well but i feel like i don't really care because if even if they are too big i can cut them and then i'll have more to you so this will go in the boxes whenever i get big orders i can put them in the box and then put my items in yeah and i also ordered a label holder for my shipping labels i don't have that yet but everything 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 will be in the description box below but yeah according to my list here I showed you guys every single thing that I bought in preparation for launch day. So if you stuck with me throughout this whole video, I really hope it was informational for you. And I would love for you guys to buy something, anything on my website in support of me. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.